Hello and welcome back everyone to the Powder Toy, and I'm really excited to say that they have added something that I'm extremely excited about, and that is the ability for lithium to store energy and then discharge it, because my issue, one of the issues I had with the Powder Toy before was the fact that something like a generator, or, well, the electricity system in general just isn't very realistic in some ways. Um, but one thing I wanted to be able to simulate is running out of power for something because the battery that the game had before uh, lasts forever. It just generates electricity. And I mean, we also have some silly things like this. I can create infinite... Oh, whoops. I can create infinite electricity by making a loop. It'll just keep going. But, I mean, you can't solve this without a fundamental, like, rewrite of how the game works and adding, like, resistance. Ooh, that would be interesting if they added resistance to different material. Oh, uh, we can hope. Resistance that actually relates to the heat output? Oh, man. That would be kind of, kind of hot. It would break everything, though. Like, compatibility would be absolutely destroyed. So let's go ahead and get some water. And then I believe there's two different things that can happen with lithium hitting water in this. Uh, number one is it will form a hydrogen. And number two is if it's hot enough, it will just uh, do an explode. So let's just put it in and, ooh, okay. So we'll do this a little bit more slowly because it does generate some heat. So if we put a little bit in, well, we, get a, we do get a little bit of fire, look at that. Interesting. Uh, if we go ahead and cool this down a bit with some freeze powder, which I'll just toss in. I wonder if I can, uh, convince it to be a little bit less violent. Alright, let's see. Oh, the ice won't react with it at all. <laughs> Perhaps I went too far. Yeah, as you can see, that did not make fire that time. Um... Whoops, I've made it too cold. But point being, you can't actually get hydrogen out of it if you keep it nice and cold. Yeah, yeah. So that's nice. <laughs> that's that's a useful function for it if you want to use it to create hydrogen. Uh, pretty cool. All right. So at the same time, you can use acid in lithium to make hydrogen and you can use lithium and carbon dioxide to increase the carbonation factor. Very exciting, very exciting indeed. But I'm more interested in the battery, so you can use uh, lithium as a battery, which is, like I was saying before, a fantastic development. So let's go ahead and build a battery. So all I'm gonna do is, we're just gonna use pure lithium to make this. Uh, I'm going to just chuck lithium into here. Very nice. Very good. <laughs> Very high quality. All right, so we are going to... So when it's sparked with P-silicon, it gets charged up, and when it's in contact with N-silicon, it discharges. So, let's go ahead and charge it up first. So, P-silicon. We'll just throw an electrode on the bottom here. Oh, uh, whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Alright, here we go. Bloop and uh, bloop. We'll go ahead and put some cable on the end here. We'll just do a titanium cable that comes down, and let's see if I can charge it. Let's see if I can charge it. Yes, I can charge it. So as you can see, it now is actually storing some charge, and if we just continue charging it, we should get it to be pretty active, pretty excited. Uh, we're putting a lot of power into this. Very nice. So you can definitely tell when it's activated because we get that beautiful light show. All right, so now we have a bunch. Now, actually, a lot of it isn't activated. It would probably take a bit to activate like a, a ton of it because it's like moving around. But if we go ahead and throw end silicon on this side, I am. Oh, that's interesting. The animation plays even when it's paused. Interesting. Oh, 
Okay, and then if we go ahead and it's paused. So if I grab some N-silicon here and do the exact same thing, we should get some charge out of this. Yes, like a lot. So, as you can see, we are discharging it now. You would need to come up with some sort of way to open and close that gate for the N-silicon. But there is definitely a lot of use here. Because, like I said before, if you have like a generator, now you can actually store up the power the generator is producing, and so if it turns off for a little bit, it's not the end of the world. Um, it'll work absolutely fine. Very exciting. And then, if you heat it up, it'll explode, uh, if exposed to fire, because, you know, Lithium is pretty reactive, so that's pretty exciting. And then, uh, I'm pretty sure that's about all. Uh, thank you to Cracker1000, I am using their cheat sheet here. <laughs> so, overall, this is actually really neat and really damn useful. Um, I guess at some point this will run out of charge. Looks like it's gonna take a while. I, I charged it up quite a bit, so... Um, you can actually, we can damage the lithium. Let's get it a little bit wet and see what happens. Get that hydrogen in there. Ooh! Yeah, so inside of our battery, we can actually cause a little bit of a kabloom. Oh, look at it go. But it's still generating power. It is actually starting to get some gaps in the power generation now. Probably because we've damaged the battery sufficiently. Um, but it's still it's still holding energy in charge. There we go. It's it's now complete wow. Mmm, just molten lithium. Very yummy. If I cool it down, will it recover? Can we recover it? No, it's the charge is completely gone now. But just like before, all we'd have to do is just spark it. And then, uh, now there's a little bit of charge in it. And look, now the charge is going out the other end, and, uh, eventually it'll be out of charge again. It's very interesting and very exciting, though. I'm a big fan. I think it's out of charge now. No? Almost? A little bit more? A tiny bit more? Interesting. Alright, so this is actually really cool for things like power generation, and even when it comes to, uh... You also have to keep an eye on your heat output now, because let's go ahead and grab a generator and see if we can build this into it. Oh man, just like a nuclear uh, reactor. I've got some favorites when it comes to reactors. We'll go ahead and do the deuterium reactor here. So, one of the neat things is with a technology like this, all we have to do is build a tiny little battery here. So, actually I won't make it tiny, I'll make it kind of large. So if I do this, and then we go ahead and we fill it with lithium, and then we go ahead and get our silicon, P-silicon to charge, and N-silicon to discharge. Now, we should be able to actually... Yep, so we are actually getting it through here. This is going to get very charged up, actually, just because of the uh, massive amount of power that's being pumped into it. Pretty exciting stuff. There we go. I even put some supports on the battery. <laughs> so this battery now is completely on, but if for whatever reason we had to shut down the reactor, um, say there's an issue in the reactor, all we have to do is, even if this power is shut off, I delete one of these, you'll notice that we're still outputting electricity in probably for quite a while so this is a this is a really good fail safe for a design that depends on a steady stream of power say you have like a reactor and its cooling systems depend off of the power it generates itself 
Well, now you can actually store power, so if it shuts off, you're not going to melt down. At the same time, there is risk involved. As I said before, the lithium is pretty temperamental uh, when it comes to things like water and heat. So if we actually go ahead and warm this up a little bit, I want to see what happens. Yeah, very quickly, the lithium becomes molten and stops uh, letting out charge, which it can recover from that, but the more worrying thing is if it's warm and for some reason it comes into contact with fire, um, lithium is very reactive and it should... No? I thought it was gonna just like pop. Huh! Interesting. Uh, it's supposed to explode, like, violently. I'm gonna just pour water on it. No explosion for me? No? <laughs> hmm. Very interesting. Oh, it depends on the hydrogenation factor and stuff as well. See, this is this is also complicated. I have to learn how to mess with. So as I said before, we can like add carbon dioxide and stuff to the lithium to change its properties. Um, but at the same time, I, I need to learn a little bit more about how those properties work because I'm not 100% confident in using them. I do know though, if you get water onto it, it's 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 not it's not good. <laughs> Wee! It's actually not annoying it too much, probably because of all the carbonation I just put onto it. Um, yes, kids, just pour water onto your lithium. Just pour it on. Glad to see that this is all go- oh yeah, this is just generating like pure hydrogen. Fant- oh! There it goes. There it goes. We managed to get it to go kablooey. And now like, it really is angry. Any amount of water is just causing it to go whee. Don't worry, everything's fine. There was a slight disaster near the nuclear reactor, but I'm sure everything's going to be fine. We'll take care of it using some thermite. Just remove evidence that anything ever went wrong. And uh, brilliant. The evidence has been thoroughly removed. We have saved the day. Nobody will ever know about the lithium disaster because at the end of the day, we have this power coming out of this side here, so nobody will ever know. Okay, maybe that was a little bit too much thermite. It is getting a little bit close to the reactor chamber. Um, <laughs> when it comes to reactor chambers, you generally don't want molten thermite near them, but you know. You know how it goes. Sometimes, sometimes you gotta live a little dangerously, and if that means setting things on fire near a nuclear reactor, then I mean, more power to you. Oh. Okay, it looks like the reactor did just go big sad. <laughs> Alright, fantastic. Brilliant. Very nice. Very nice indeed. So, lithium, super useful. I'm going to try to implement it into some of my ideas. I think things like the... Uh, Mega Dam, Ultra Dam, could definitely use it. Basically any power generation, well, now you have a use. Um, there's also Platinum which was added. Oh, there's a Lithium battery right here. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, and they look nice as well. So yeah, as you can see, this guy actually legitimately made Lithium batteries that look like you know, normal batteries. You can copy and paste it. That's pretty neat. What if? Oh, oh, I've got an idea. <laughs> Those among you who think like me will say, hmm, hmm, what if I connect the batteries together in the way you're not supposed to? It's a good question. I'm going to answer that question. Don't worry. Are we ready? Are we... You see, in real life, this would heat up and probably start a fire if it was a powerful enough battery. But, uh, it's the powder toy, so... First, we need to charge one of these bad boys. So let's go ahead and charge it up. 
Do, 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 do. Oh, look how charged it is. Wow. The example one is like super, super charged. Damn, that's a lot of power it's got. We can probably just turn off decorations to see. Oh, is it? Why isn't it charging? In or wait, what even is that? Insulated what? Oh, it doesn't conduct a metal. I see. I'm using the wrong kind of wire from this. Okay, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I am big dumb. Okay, great. So if we go ahead and we charge this up, right? It looks like we can charge it a little bit faster than it discharges, which is nice. Okay, and now that it is charged up, at least a bit, let's go ahead and connect it to the other one. Now, if the game is somewhat imbalanced, then they'll both like infinitely charge themselves or uh, discharge themselves, uh, which I think is what's going to happen. I, I think it's just going to unrealistically just generate infinite power. But getting something like that balanced is actually like extremely challenging, so I'm not expecting it to be. What would be nice though is if this generated heat <laughs> And then uh, this ridiculous situation would would at least have some consequences. This is very... Look, this one is perfectly charged now. It is legitimately like 100% charged. And these lithiums have like... If you look at them, they have other elements in them. Like... Lithium, insulation, vacuum... Va it looks like it's using the uh, element type IED slot to store the amount of charge it has, um, which causes the debug menu to look kind of weird. But at the same time, I'm I'm going to assume that they just ran out of different. Perhaps it's because this is it saves that. I'm not sure why they used that. Interesting. Very interesting. I'm assuming they just used all of the other data types, so they needed more. Now it's... yeah, very interesting. This is super, super charged up, so let's go ahead and do what any intelligent child would do. Um, and poke holes in the batteries and take the lithium out. Mmm! <laughs> Yummy charged lithium. Say it ain't so. Oh, that looks awesome. I really like the style. Huh. That stuff looks like it could do some damage. We can actually probably copy and paste it as well, and it'll keep its... Oh, yes. Look at that. Charged Lilium. It's beautiful. I love the color. It's like crystallite all over again. Now, if it's this charged up and I add a, like... Uh, water to it. I wonder what'll happen. Yeah, very... We get, like, quite some reaction out of that. And it does actually kill the charge. So if I put a lot, then we... Oh, wow. Yeah, the amount of heat and energy it lets out is kind of insane. 200 degrees. Very nice. So, yeah. The, playing with batteries is fun. Um, at the same time... Very interesting, and there are practical applications for this, like... And it looks like the lithium very quickly discharges to nearby lithium, so this'll let out some of its charge to charge the other lithium, and it balances out. Very nice. Very nice indeed. All right. Well, we learned, at the very least, we learned quite a bit about Lithium. And then there's also the Platinum tutorial, but this, it looks like Platinum just gives, <gasps> Yo! It makes it so that we can make oil. Oh, well I know what I'm doing next time. We'll make an oil plant, a proper one. Cold fusion. 
Paul. Very interesting. Okay. Shield instantly grows even without spar. Isotopes. Interesting. There's so many new reactions. Alright, well, we're gonna have to look at that, but thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I will see you all next time. Peace out. Wow, thank you for watching my video. You should like and subscribe and support me by maybe supporting me on Patreon or something, or maybe sharing the video, I don't know. I think I'm getting a cold. This is awful. Spike gonna die. End credit gang. These may be the last words you hear from me. After this it may all be over. Ugh, ugh.